Hi, I'm Tynan Shadle with the Texas Cotton Gin Museum here in Burton, Texas. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about cotton's number one pest. So cotton has a lot of pests, but none really more damaging or infamous than the boll weevil. So many of you have probably heard of the boll weevil maybe in song, or if you've been around Texas agriculture long enough, you've probably um, heard about them in a very, as I said, infamous light. Um, so the boll weevil made its first appearance in the United States in 1892, crossing over the border from Mexico um, at Brownsville, Texas. By 1909, it was in the state of Alabama, and it was wiping out cotton crops um, all across the South. Um, so the boll weevil, what makes it such a dangerous pest for cotton is the fact that it has such a very long nose that you can kind of make out there in the video. Um, so they use that nose to their advantage when the cotton is young in what called, what's called the square. The square will eventually turn into the bowl, opening up to expose the cotton. Uh, when that's young, it's very uh, juicy, lots of water in it, and the boll weevil likes to drill a hole in there to drink that water. That, of course, wounds the plant, but then it gets worse. They lay uh, an egg into the hole they've just made in the bowl. That egg hatches, the larva then munches on the cotton, destroying the bowl from the inside out. Um, during a cotton season, um, a female boll weevil can lay up to 200 eggs. Um, they can multiply three to four generations per cotton season. So quite a lot of uh, boll weevil damaging fields. Um, in 1978, the boll weevil eradication program was started um, with the initiative to uh, eradicate the boll weevil, um, which they have mostly succeeded with. Um, what I'm holding here in my left hand is a boll weevil trap. This is a pheromone trap, has a smell good up there in the top. Um, the boll weevil will work its way up underneath and become trapped. Um, our folks with the boll weevil eradication program will come around and check these traps. If they find even one boll weevil, um, they will spray pesticides on that field to um, take care of any infestation that could take place. These are placed about every tenth of a mile in major cotton growing areas here in Texas. Um, and they have really helped uh, hold this very uh, damaging pest at bay. I hope you've enjoyed this talk about the boll weevil. Um, not a very pleasant looking bug.